by the year 2020, India will be the youngest country in the world. Now that may not necessarily be the best thing. Now what can be a boon for the country can also be a pain. The thing is, we are currently facing a demographic disaster. Why? A large number of children are unable to access schools. As many as 10 crores of children have no access to schools in India. And what's even more alarming is that an average, what's even more alarming is that an average kid in India ranks nowhere globally in terms of his reading skills or basic arithmetic or so on the one hand we need to enhance the syllabus or you can say the curriculum so that the students, the existing students are able to learn things better. On the other hand, we need to have a large number of schools and teachers to cater to the ever growing population. So what can be done if we have to handle this situation? We have to, you know, take the problem head on. What we can do is we can create an internet based school. A lot of universities around the world are already doing it. So the basic question is why can it not be replicated in case of schools? For example, let's say you have a portal, a government of India portal, which offers lectures for all the classes and in the initial stage, in the pilot stage of the pro project, we start giving lectures for class 1 to 5. Now, let's say we don't have a school in a particular area, students will still be able to access those lectures using high-speed internet connection which will of course I'm hoping will come throughout the country. So now your mobile phone will become the school itself. The portal can have actually the status of a proper school. That's also possible. And get your lectures created by the best in the industry, the video lectures, so that even the dumbest or the even the not so smart kids are able to understand things easily. The main advantage with a mobile phone based school is not just access but the fact that school for once will become very very cheap. Rather I'll say that it should be something free of cost offered by the government of the country. At the same time because you now have an online school in which, in which the exams will probably also be conducted online or through computers. We can actually have multiple companies mushrooming. Since the content will be delivered via mobile phone, it will be mobile optimized content. We can actually totally have multiple companies creating content for mobile. I mean, you can have math content from 10 different companies and you can just see the rating, which company is the best and then choose it. This will actually improve the syllabus or the content or the curriculum uh, of the subjects and the market forces will actually be, you know, improving the post content and uh, everything will happen, you know, keep on happening with time and naturally you don't need elaborate commissions or panel of experts to decide, okay, this is going to be the content. I mean, the overall syllabus, of course, will have to be created and, you know, fixed by the school or, you know, a, a commission like uh, CBSC. But the content delivery and, you know, the options available for you uh, will be more. And since there will be so many options and since market is going to play an important role in this type of a system, there's every chance that the best content will come at a reasonable price and those of you who are not able to afford that content they will still have that option of the government portal which will have the world class video lectures anyway at the same time if the schools the existing schools play it well then they can actually create their own versions of their e-schools 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्कूल लाइक बीपीएस आर के पुरम और मॉडर्न स्कूल और बिरला विद्या निकेतन इन प्रॉब्लम हैव देयर ओन पोर्टल्स विच कैन ऑफर क्लासेस ऑनलाइन एंड दैट कैन बी एट अ पेमेंट देयर विश सो अ नंबर ऑफ स्कूल्स विल नाउ हैव देयर ई क्लासेस ऑनलाइन एंड दे ऑल विल बी competing against each other in the online space as well the advantages that you can see are immediate your school immediately becomes accessible to just about anybody with a smartphone and smartphones are becoming more and more affordable these days so even the poorest of the poor who do not have access to schools will be able to afford uh, will be able to you know will have access to school now so uh, one simple question now remains to be seen and that's more of an ethics question one may argue that are we experimenting with a generation if we do this experiment if we create an online school i believe uh, i mean i'm just uh, you know raising this question just for the heck of it because i don't think it's a valid question but just to answer it i don't think we'll be experimenting with any generation so the thing is this school will run in parallel with the existing setup whatever that may be see this system is going to run in parallel with all the existing system so on one hand this is simply going to help those who are not able to access schools and if eventually this replaces the existing system then i guess uh um, that says a lot about the success of the system right i mean we cannot stop it and if it is not very successful it will die out anyway so i'm just saying no harm in trying it it's a good system it will democratize the whole education system it will bring market forces to create the best content for students and it will make schools accessible to tens of millions of children in india and if it is successful probably it can be such a system can probably be replicated throughout the world there brick and mortar type schools are not that easy to build thank you for watching this video have a nice day